गुड इवनिंग प्रोफेसर दिस इज माई पर्सनल टाइम टेबल वट आई हैव डेड इन प्रीवियस वीक दैट इज आई अटेंडेड द रिसर्च ग्रुप मीटिंग अटेंडेड ऑफलाइन बायोमेडिकल फिजिक्स क्लास एंड अगेन आई एम रिसर्चिंग ऑन माई टॉपिक विच इज अबाउट मेडिकल सेंसिंग एप्लीकेशन ऑफ न्यू रेडियोमीटर विथ लेटेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी रेडियोमीटर यूजिंग टू डिफरेंट रेफरेंस नोइसोज एंड इन दिस वीक एज यूजल वी हैव टू अटेंड रिसर्च ग्रुप मीटिंग एंड बायोमेडिकल फिजिक्स ऑफलाइन क्लास ऑन एवरी फ्राइडे एंड अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू research more new paper and uh, regarding software related topics and with the uh, with my research topic and will come up with a new new uh, research paper so what i have uh, studied uh, and research with this uh, uh, topic uh, i'm going to explain with my slides so uh, this uh, in this paper this paper title is uh, design of novel infometric bio uh, mi- microwave radiometer for human body temperature measurement in this uh, uh, there was a two uh, section hardware and software the major goal of my it is software so i have uh, mentioned only software part so in software they had divided uh, sub uh, the process uh, in uh, four steps so the first step uh, uh, this software design was uh, the first step was correction algorithm and second is calibration uh, mechanism how they did the uh, me- calibration mechanism it basically they had involved three three steps uh, so correction algorithm first is correction algorithm second is calibration and mechanism and third is the uh, inverse vision algorithm and next after uh, when we are using inversion algorithm in that uh, uh, it is other further uh, subdivision has uh, uh, bp neural network and uh, Uh, other uh, el- uh, other algorithm also is there so after using inversion algorithm final output is like predicted temperature and and it is quite accurate temperature so in this uh, uh, they had improved uh, in uh, um, accuracy of the human body temperature measurement in inversion algorithm Uh, to design uh, to design uh, software part the first uh, i'm uh, elaborating about a uh, inversion algorithm more uh, so uh, to use this inversion algorithm multiple regression algorithm and bp neural network algorithm has been uh, used to design this uh, inversion algorithm in this Uh, multiple regression linear regression is uh, also known as multiple uh, regression is a sta- it to gives the data in statistical techniques i will show in further slide uh, slides also this and uh, uh, multiple uh, linear regression uh, th- it has a, a matrix form uh, like uh, the as you can see in this uh, i have mentioned my in my uh, slide also this is uh, this way we can uh, we can have matrix representation of multiple linear reg- uh, regression uh, what i have studied uh, we have uh, two type of uh, regression simple linear regression and multiple in simple uh, the equation uh, is la- it's about like this y equal to b o plus uh, b b into x one and in uh, multiple uh, linear regression y equal to uh, z b zero plus b one into b x 
प्लस बी टू इंटू बी एक्स टू प्लस बी एन इंटू एक्स एन सो इन दिस मल्टीपल रिग्रेशन दे हैड सब सब टाइप ऑफ डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड इनडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल नाउ वॉट इज डिपेंडेंट एज यू कैन सी आई हैव मैंशन विद माई एरो ऑल्सो लाइक वाई इज लाइक इट्स इट्स अ डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड एज यू कैन सी इन एक्स वन एक्स टू एंड एक्स एन दिस इज इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल so uh, now i'm going to uh, explain about the model what was the model uh, we had used for implementing this uh, uh, multiple regression algorithm uh, basic steps are there uh, for implement for implementation of a multiple linear regression first step data processing in data processing uh, five uh, steps are, no it it is not considered as a step five things are involved in data pre processing uh, in pre processing first we have to import uh, all libraries uh, importing the data set encoding the categorical data and avoiding the dumping variable trap splitting data set into training set and test set step by step i will explain what is training set what is te uh, test set and this uh, will be explained uh, with further slides uh, next step comes uh, fitting the multi linear regression to training set and then third step predicting the test results by this uh, way we have a, a multiple regression model and so uh uh this this is the flow chart and uh, this flow chart i have studied with uh, this uh, another paper which i got from this paper i have mentioned the link also and uh, what all the steps and algorithm and how they are following uh, uh this uh, thing uh, this uh, algorithm uh, to process this all so first of all uh this uh at the uh, left hand side i have uh, described in uh, uh, detail and uh, on the left uh, right hand side i have uh, a diagram about uh, algorithm flow chart of uh, mlr model and uh, that is multiple linear regression model and uh, first of all flow chart start with the start button then uh as you can see in this the uh, rectangular blocks uh, in that i have uh, specif uh, mentioned that specified dependent variable and independent variable as i said in before slide uh, we had dependent and independent variable uh, we have to specify that and then we have to build the mlr model uh based on general equation like what equation will form and uh, and next comes to estimate the model and uh, third a uh, fifth step comes uh, check the value of adjacent r square uh and uh, how much the va variability and independent variable it is accounted for the independent uh, so in fifth step you can uh, see that and uh, and the uh, uh, sixth step consider as a test whether the regression uh, regression uh, regression model is statically significant to determine the critical attribute influencing the techniques and analyze uh, analyze the results uh, uh, of variation as uh, and uh, then it proves a value of significant uh, if significant uh, f is equal is uh, greater than uh, 0.05 or uh, if it uh, ha if it is yes uh, it will update the experimentary variable if uh, it is greater uh, if it is less than 
significant value uh, it will accept the model uh, then it checks the uh, p value of the uh, uh, of an attribute and uh, of each variable and uh, again we are giving one sort of condition that is if p value is greater than 0.05 if it is yes as you can see in this if yeah, it is it throws boolean value uh, uh, no and yes yes means uh, if it is yes it reject the attribute if it is no it include the attribute in critical and then the final results come with the critical influence attribute and uh, uh, this this flowchart uh, has been used for MLR model and uh, I will be uh, what I have searched and uh, uh, I have gone through many uh, website and many things and I have researched about every every single point and I have considered and then I got to know that I can implement this multiple regression algorithm uh, using python this is machine learning language and nowadays it is uh, quite in demand and uh, every institute every big company having uh, this sort of uh, uh, python machine learning language and it is it is in high great demand so i have uh, research also and i have google many things uh, with small small sort of uh, questions uh, which arise in my mind and then I uh, concluded and uh, I have made this presentation uh, first I have made the re uh, regression model and the flow chart and then I have come uh, with the example that yes uh, I can implement this uh, in software part using python machine learning language and it is great uh, in demand so here's here i i will explain every source uh, so uh, i have a source code also i will explain step by step what uh, what should be done next and everything i will uh, explain this uh, so uh, yes come to the point with this uh, presentation uh, uh, this uh, i have picked this uh, uh, example as a uh, taking the uh, temperature measurement of weather condition how the weather uh, uh, condition is that so first I said as we have to collect all the data so first step is like data set contain information about weather condition recorded at each day at various weather station uh, at each station we are recording uh, this uh, weather condition uh, around the world and the information include precision snowfall like temperature wind speed and whether the day included thun thunderstorm or other poor weather conditions so the task is to predict the maximum ten uh, temperature taking input features as minimum temperature okay so uh, first uh, I will explain all this step by step so as I said uh, uh, there were three rules in the previous slide also I have said that uh, first we will process pre, uh, we will have data pre-processing fitting multiple regression with training uh, data set and predicting the uh, test result so here comes this uh, regression model uh, step by step first I will implode uh, all the libraries we will uh, required to implement uh, this uh, code to implement this example so we have uh, implement, uh, implement with pandas as pd and uh, these are the important libraries for importing uh, for uh, working with python and uh, we had a, a, a sort of nummy np and seaborn it's basic uh, kind of thing we have to uh, uh, um, import this library for uh, so when we want to uh, use our uh, code uh, with linear uh, regression so we have imported this library also and uh, uh, for this first library is import to read the csv file uh, if we have a csv file we 
for importing this file we have to uh, for reading this file we will use uh, this sort of library uh, so in python uh, we have a sort of library we have to import so this sort of library we are uh, for plotting also for further i will explain how to plot a graph and everything so for plotting we had used this library so step by step you will get to know and uh, next comes uh, if once again uh, first we want to read a data from uh, uh, weather uh, weather data so we had uh, read this uh, file and next this shows uh, to see if you want to see your data in statistical details data set we will use this data set describe a uh, line of code then uh, when you click on run uh, you will have uh, this sort of uh, statistical data and uh, when you want to plot a point 2d graph or eyeball data set if you can manually find the relation between the data using below script so uh, in this uh, we will find a mean as i said uh, minimum will be the input and max uh, we have to find maximum uh, temperature okay uh, in this minimum temperature and maximum temperature and uh, title will have be, uh, will be there and, lab and we have uh, labeling uh, means to define a variable mean temp and man, uh, max temp and then uh, this plot dot show uh, uh, source of code will explain how to plot the graph so uh, in by using plt uh, uh, function we can plot a graph and uh, the data will read with uh, csv file and it will plot a graph next step is to divide the data into attribute and labels L attribute and labels it attributes are independent variable yes while the uh, dependent are uh, values values of uh, to be predicted and in our data set we have only two columns like max temp depending upon the mean recorded and therefore after attributes uh, set will consist of mean temp column which is stored in x variable and uh, the label will be uh, max uh, temp column which is stored in y variable so as this is the source code x i have defined a, a variable x uh, and data set with mean temp which has a value and we reshape it with the minus one comma uh, one and again i have y value with data set max temperature uh, it uh, dot value we have whenever you want to uh, find a value of that uh, particular variable we have to use values and then reshape that minus one comma one so uh, so next step the logic come years is that uh, we we are splitting uh, this data into training set uh, like 80 to 20 percent of data uh, set uh, is used and the test size variable is uh, actually specifying the proportion of test set so by this slang of code uh, like text train text uh, test and y train uh, equal to train test split split into 80 20 equation like 0 0.2 and random equal to 0 after splitting uh, data into training and testing finally the time is to train our algorithm and that comes with using this uh, regression uh, function uh, for using this function we required uh, that library as I uh, mentioned in the uh, first line of code we have to import all the libraries uh, to use this uh, linear equation algorithm uh, then uh, af, as I said import this class and initiate with uh, and call the fit method 
फिट मैथड अलॉन्ग विद अवर ट्रेनिंग डेटा एज वी डिस्कस द लीनियर रिग्रेशन ऑफ मॉडल बेसिकली फाइंड द बेस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ द इंटरसेप्ट एंड द स्लो विच रिजल्ट इन टू अलाइन द बेस्ट फीट डेटा टू सी द वैल्यू टू सी द वैल्यू एंड स्टॉप कैलकुलेटेड बाय द एंड सॉरी एंड स्लोप कैलकुलेटेड बाय द लीनियर रिग्रेशन एल्गोरिदम for our data set and this uh, by using uh, this uh, source code uh, this print regression intercept it will find the intercept value and then if when you want to uh, print the value of that uh, uh, regression coefficient uh, using this line of code you will get the uh, printed value and the result is like some sort of like this uh, uh, value will become the result should be in a, uh, approximate like this and this mean and max and this is uh, that for everyone uh, uh, one unit every one unit of change in mean temperature and uh, change in max temperature is about 0.92% and next year comes the actual value and we when we want to find actual and predicted value we uh, in this we are going to train our algorithm uh, uh, it's uh, some prediction to uh, uh, of our test data and uh, accurately our algorithm predict the temperature score to make uh, prediction on data set execute uh, for prediction uh, this uh, sort of uh, source code line of code has been used and when you want to compare the actual output value of x test with the predicted value uh, in uh, we, uh, we will be using this uh, sort of uh, uh, data uh, script for uh, for getting result as a uh, as uh, this way um, means it is like uh, it it is the uh, this result is of comparison and comparison value of actual data what we are getting and what is what has been predicted and uh, there is a uh, as you can see there is a number of record is used and representation uh, it's taking just uh, uh, just 25 records uh, so in which i will show in uh, next graph uh, means there is a graph uh, to plot that graph uh, head uh, head is used for first uh, first uh, first 25 record means if you are using this uh, this uh, sort of uh, script it will show you the first 25 record first 25 days of record and plot uh, its uh, what kind of graph you want it's a ki it's kind of bar graph how much size you can mention all this by using this sort of uh, uh, script using this type of uh, script uh, line of code and every function you can get this major and minor and line how much line width will be there uh, what color is defined for which grid and which color is defined for uh, and then for uh, showing for running for getting the final result you uh, means using this plot dot show script uh, this by using this line of code you will you can see the graph uh, this is the bar graph showing the comparison of actual and predicted value as I said uh, uh, with the, in previous slide it was uh, in uh, statistical form uh, like in table form tabular form and this is in uh, bar graph form that uh, uh, data and where by if you uh, after that this is our uh, our model very precise and predicted temperature uh, which is uh, very actual ones 
and uh, this is the final step where you can evaluate uh, the algorithm by using uh, mean square error mean absolute error and root mean square error and I have mentioned uh, uh, the formula to find uh, this uh, uh, absolute error and uh, mean square error and root square error mean root square error uh, by this using by this formula we can get the value of uh, error also and uh, uh, as I said I had used this formula when you want to use this formula in uh, Python uh, we had a, a skit library comes which is pre-built function and uh, this is uh, by using this three line of code you will get mean absolute error matrix dot mean absolute by the by using this way uh, you will get a, a three value of absolute error squared error and mean uh, root mean square error so uh, how much error is there you can find so what i have understood with this uh, that I can implement uh, this uh, inversion algorithm using ma machine technique and uh, with the upcoming week I am also going to uh, I have also researched more new papers with uh, machine learning and uh, I will uh, use this technique machine learning as well as IOT and I am trying to uh, do much more better uh, in better way form uh, to get the result uh, using software uh, which is uh, python and I find this is uh, this is the latest technology and it is high uh, in demand so uh, so I have chosen this and I have also started about also uh, I can uh, use this uh, python in every steps of uh, software design uh, so if uh, if there is any sort of guidance so you can please give me and uh, and it will be grateful for me for my research work thank you